Well, hello there. Welcome to my lair. So, I finally got the Kuba Sobek Augment off Nightwave. Yes, I'm slightly light. Sue me. Uh, I've been doing medical testing for like three days this week. Um, and, and interestingly, I was watching Kenjineer's video, which is cool and all. Uh, Ken's a very good guy for math and stuff. Uh, he did some interesting things with Frost, which and uh, Zada's Whisper with the Kuva Sobek Acid Shells, and I thought to myself, why is he using Frost for this? Because Frost doesn't have a special interaction with the Kuva Shells. Uh, obviously it was for the armor strip, which goes through the walls. Uh, now, the interesting thing is, Frost is not the only person with an armor strip that goes through walls. Uh, as you might guess by what we're looking at right now, there is also our good friend Caliban here, if you've uh, kept on all my Warframe videos, you're probably aware of that. Uh, now, the other thing Ken mentioned, which a lot of people uh, took umbrage with, and Ken's point was fair, uh, was that you had to use faction mods for the acid shells. Now, this is not to call Ken out, but this is not completely true. Uh, one, you could use Rhino, as far as I'm aware, who would just count as a faction mod, but... Uh, Particularly of note, you can just make the enemies vulnerable to additional damage. Guess who does armor strip through walls and makes enemies vulnerable through walls? Uh, that would be this guy here. Look at him spin. It's like I'm using his one, except I don't use his one. Anyways, we're going to put Zada's Whisper into him here. I prepared a loadout especially for that. And then I will see you over in the simulacrum. Welcome to the simulacrum. So we're going to spawn 20 Corrupted Heavy Gunners. Uh, you will not see this in a normal mission. In a normal mission, but this is so we can see the damage against even targets. Uh, I've also remembered to put my companion away for once so it doesn't kill everything. So if we wander over here, we're going to do our armor strip. Conveniently, Caliban's armor strip also gathers dudes. Uh, and then we'll shoot some acid shells. You can see we're getting like 44s, some 64s, kind of out towards the edges. We're getting 40s and 30s. We get a general idea of where we're at. Now let's kill these guys. I had 20 of you, didn't I? Anyways, we're going to do this the other way now. And those were corrupted heavy gunners, so I have to use the same thing or the numbers won't match. Depending how amused I am by it, I might leave the blooper in there for you guys. Uh, so pop over here, we drop this, which is damage vulnerability. You can start seeing we're getting 70s and stuff. And 60s and so on on the outside there rather than the 30s and 20s we were getting. Um, if you want to see my Calibani build up here, not this thing. This thing doesn't even have the augment on it yet, by the way. Uh, but yeah, so we're right now we're adding 78%, give or take a few for Molt Augmented there. Uh, Molt Augmented will get that up to around 100 normally. You can also do stuff like a Grimoire that's equipped here. Uh, pop off your Vom Invocations, which is on one of my configs. This one. For that, you could technically do the uh, any number of other tricks. Whatever floats your boat. Run around with the Nidus attached to you. So let's bring up some more heavy goons. And then this time, I'm going to put my Zada's Whisper, I'm going to throw down Vulnerability, Armor Strip, and boom, boom. No faction mods. Wee hee. Alright, so I, I'm not actually even going to look up uh, what the exact build was. You know, primarily what's on the Sobek itself doesn't really matter for the acid shells, because nothing affects it except the faction mod. Uh, so we're going to equip this. Uh, that's my ribbon. 
I believe that's I literally just put that over uh, some kind of other status chance or something. One of the two. Uh, actually, I'm not entirely sure what that's achieving here necessarily. I think that might have been for the Gerudo build specifically. So yeah, and we'll see you in a mission. All right, so here we are in some Steel Path Alchemy. This is nothing here that would actually tell you it's Steel Path, but you can look at the levels when I'm aiming at things. Uh, or trust me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we got our Caliban. I've done some preamble, picked up some energy, killed a few things. So on. Uh, I forgot to re-equip my companion, which is not helping with the energy, but... So we'll cast our Zada. We'll do a vulnerable. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh, that's a grizzling. Yeah. Same trick, no faction mods. Have to use Caliban, but uh to to borrow a quote, stop being a bitch and use Caliban. Uh, damage vulnerability, which is this thing, is incredibly powerful and he's one of the best at applying it, other than Nova, and he can scale, Nova can't. Uh, Sevagoth and Neja would also actually work for this. Uh, Neja's uh, hula hoop thing puts a similar debuff, and so is Sevagoth's ghost. Uh, in a pinch you could throw Yureli's bubbles too, but that's uh, only gonna get like two or three of them. Yeah, I'm running out of energy because my companion's not here. A little bit of a bath on my part. So yeah, just thought I'd share an alternate way of getting to that and update my own Kuva Sobek build at the same time. And I will catch you on the next build video, uh, which should be the Banshee Guide. Long coming in the process. Uh, make sure to drop a like, follow, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, you can follow me here, you can follow me on TikTok, I've got shorts clips on there too, now, and other things in the link tree as well. And we'll see you in the next one.